In this screencast, we're going to talk about grouping CSS style rules. Uh, there might be times when you're setting up style sheet rules and you come across a style rule that's been set many times in the style sheet. In this kind of situation, you can actually group the same rule and have many selectors like element, the class, or ID share the same rule. So let me show you an example. Let's open up our CSS folder. I have a group.html and I'm going to show you the source first in top style. And you'll see that I have a simple HTML page with four classes set up and they're all setting the color of the text to red. Okay, So they're basically identical class but it's just scattered around. Imagine this is big style sheet file that more than five people or three people is working on it simultaneously. Okay, So in the body section I have four divs that just has simple text and each of them are being assigned a class from class 1 to class 4. Okay, And let me show you what this looks like in the browser first. So you'll see that all these four lines have color red assigned to them. So let's minimize, bring back top style. And if this class, setting the color red to all these four lines takes four lines, uh, four lines of text take, takes all these four classes to do. Okay, We can actually just group the, the classes okay, to, to share this property or setting. Okay, So what we do is we separate, we group them uh, either elements or IDs by commas. So in this case we would do class 1 comma dot class 2 comma dot class 3 comma dot class 4. Okay, And you can actually delete all the other lines because all these four classes are going to be assigned color red. So let's save, minimize, bring back Firefox, refresh, refresh a couple times, does the magic. Okay. okay, so this is simply grouping. You can of course do IDs, okay, or you can do elements, like all the div tags are going to have color red or all the a tags okay or all the tables right you can do that so that's it for grouping thank you